Hi, my peeps. It's Chicken Dance Mama coming at you again with a little more Bible study tips. Okay, so here's another one for you. Um, use the internet. A lot of people go right to their Bible. I have my Bible right here. I always have it nearby. My Bible, look at that. Worn and torn Bible. I do not mind. Oh, hey, by the way, let's write in our Bibles. Let's find some writing. Oh, my goodness. I have notes. I have... I have coffee stains, which is funny because I've never drank coffee, but I think it's been spilled on it before. I have highlights. I have notes through my whole thing, and people might be at gasp going, what? Why are you writing in your Bible? But here's the deal. Look. When I am in Isaiah 59, I've told myself, read Psalm 51. I gave myself my own cross-reference. So I know this. I think in my agape love, too, like in that agape love section, I'm pretty sure that I, um, oh, to the Greeks. Look at this. Luke 1, he wrote it to the Greeks. He wrote it to the Greeks. Hey, guys, write in your Bible. I don't think God will mind. That's not true. He might. Ah, I struggle because I love and heart the Jews, and they are so reverent toward the Torah, and they don't even touch it in service. And where I, we need to revere the Word of God. We need to cherish every single living bit of it, and I do, and I do. But if I'm studying with a group of women, and I am trying to understand clearly and more effectively, this builds my confidence. This builds my understanding. And so um, I just I, I I ask that you use it. Use your Bible. Use it, use it every day and keep it and keep it and cherish it. Um, that's my little tip for you. I think I was going to talk about something totally different, but my tip is use your Bible, write in it, love it, enjoy it. See you later. Chicken Dance Mama, out!